These are zoetropes, which are a 19th century optical toy. And they're based on the phenomena of the persistence of vision, so that as you look through the slots, the animation, the image changes, but because there's a gap here where you can see it and then you can't, um, your brain tricks you into thinking that the, the motions are connected or the images are connected. So most of them, there are 12 slots and 12 images, so there's an equal number of slots per images. And the hard thing about making this particular toy is that there's never a beginning or ending. It's a constant loop. These are all separate pictures and I just glued them together so they'd become 32 and a half inches. <laughs> Mine's called Salary Men and it's about like, it's this repeated action of the businessman. The outside's like a city and I used old um, classifieds from newspaper from the 50s because I just love like the jobs that are on it. Just the whole notion of you have, everyone has like the same job and they're just working for the man and no one, like it strips you of individualism. I made this with uh, an old antique um, egg beater that I got from Treasure Mart in downtown Denver. And then this part here is a sort of old looking um, hat box that I got from Michael's. And um, I really like the old um, sort of antique toy feel of spinning something yourself and um, for the actual strips themselves I um, wanted them to be sort of like childhood play with sort of bubbles and balls but in um, different ways than you'd expect things go floating by or stuff can't stuff that can't happen normally um, just to add to sort of the like toy like feel of the Spinning it around is this sort of fantastical bubble movement inside. Thank you.